Being aware of the energy density of foods is of tremendous value when it comes to controlling our body weight. And I have this simple little illustration to show you just how important it is. Here I have two food items. Exhibit A, the humble carrot, and exhibit B, a chocolate bar. Also with me I have two friends, Tish and Heather, who have generously offered to eat and run, or at least eat and walk. Now what we're going to explore is how long does it take to burn off the energy contained within these food items. Now Tish, you get the carrot, and Heather, you get the chocolate bar. Bon appétit. Okay, Tish, you can stop. It's been five minutes and you've now burned off all the energy contained within that carrot that you consume. So you can relax. Heather, even though I asked you to jog, you've still got some time to go. Stick with it. can stop. Well done. Well done. You know, you have been running now for about 27 minutes and you've burned off all the energy contained within that chocolate bar. Now, the reason I got you to run as compared to walk like Tish is that it would have taken you near on an hour to burn off the energy contained within that food item. And the reason being is that a chocolate bar is about 10 times more dense than the carrot. As you can see, the energy density makes a huge difference. And if you're interested in controlling your body weight, opt for foods that are of low energy density. And for the most part, these are whole plant-based foods as grown.